seeing that there's ancient sounds that are emerging to have a new life, to bring healing, restoration, to minister. But they're not songs to be pretty and to make you warm and fuzzy. They're songs to get to the to the heart of humankind across Aotearoa and to draw sometimes the mamai, the kino, wherever there's a wounding or something went wrong, just to be able to get in there. And it wasn't just to add to international worship. Let's just shove it on an album and go for it. It was to be able to go back to the people and just begin to play and let it be carried. And if you have to play for an hour or two or three and let the reverberations of what's carried on the wind do its job, that's what we're supposed to be doing. You don't really get to put that on an album. But I tell you what you do get to do is put it on the hearts of men and women and children. And those sounds is deliverance for those who want to take their lives. But we just didn't know. And in our nation, because of our backstory, way, 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 way too many our men and women are giving up their own lives because they have lost hope and purpose. And I ask whose sin is that? When we're carriers of light, whose sin is that? That someone would get to the point where they think that there's nothing left worth living for. And it's time for us to release our sounds and our songs in a meaningful way that makes a difference, that saves lives and terms, turns an epidemic and a crazy reality right around and says his life that's worth living.